Happy New Year, folks. Are you ready to get the new year started out on the right foot? This video is called New Year, New You. Five easy steps to make a success plan for 2019. Stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Driver Lady Pro because I drive like a boss, but I try to stay classy like a lady. Uh, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little notification. If you're returning, please give me a thumbs up. Hey guys, so um, my, my schedule is Wednesday night, 9.30 p.m. Central Time. I upload a video and then I also have a podcast on Sunday nights, 8.30 p.m. Central Time. It's called Ride, Share, Unite, Stop the Abuse. Uh, and ask the experts. If you have any questions you would like to ask our panel of experts, you can hit up the description below. I have plenty of helpful information if you want. So guys, in the book Alcoholics Anonymous, it talks about a business that doesn't take an inventory will end up going broke. So ask yourself, what kinds of things worked last year? So did you make enough money? Did you make the kind of money that you want to make? So maybe you made like only 6000 and you want to make like 40000 Maybe you really want to shoot even higher and make $100,000. Really, it, it depends on your market and how much time and money you're willing to invest. Or maybe you say, yeah, I have been doing this ride share and I want to try other gigs or I've been doing this delivery and I would like to try something different this year. What are your goals for the next year? Only you know what's good for you. So number one, make a plan and work that plan. Dr. Seuss said, the time has come, the time is now. Marvin K. Mooney, will you please go now? People can say inspiring things all day until you decide to do something. That is only when the real change comes. In AA, they teach, nothing changes if nothing changes. There is a Chinese pop proverb that says, to know and not yet do is to still not know. This is the other thing that really needs to be addressed. <clears throat> what were some of the positive and negative feedbacks that you got from your customers last year? Now, a lot of times they save them right in the app, but it, um, if you can even remember some of them, that certainly would be helpful. A lot of times people think that these customers are being mean or rude to us. When a, nine times out of ten, what they're saying actually doesn't even have anything to do with you. They might be talking about their experience, but... We don't know if they're in a bad mood. We don't know if they're hungry, angry, lonely, or tired. You know, certainly I'm a grump when I am hungry or even when I'm angry. So it is a really good idea to consider those things. Sometimes when people write this stuff, it has a lot more to do with what's going on with them and a lot less to do with you. So it's important to ask yourself, is this something that really did happen? And it, okay, so if it's only one person that says it, maybe it was a one-time thing. But if it happens a couple times, do you think you might be able to change something like that? I met a man once that kept talking about how customers kept getting upset with him about his breaking. He really was angry at the customers. 
And that really didn't help him because he didn't really look at the constructive criticism and try to turn, change that around for him. Or here's another instance that happened to me last year. I ended up having a couple complaints saying I was talking too much. Go figure. Me? Never. I'm an angel. But I took it with a grain of, a salt, of salt and I decided to turn that bugger around. And now I do much better at reading the people that get in my car and not blah, blah, blah. Because just because I talked a lot with the last guy doesn't mean the next guy wants to have a big full-blown conversation. Okay, now this brings us to number two. Suit up and show up. Action required. Nike says, just do it. Up until now, we've been kind of contemplating what exactly we want to put on the paper. And so now it's time to grab paper and pencil in hand and write something down. But we're not going to set ourselves up for failure. A lot of times people like to change 50 things and that does not necessarily work out too well. A lot of times, if you change several things, you are too busy spreading your attention out on all these things. Usually, it's been proven that if you just change slowly and steadily, you have a better chance for success. So, many people try to do New Year's resolutions, but by March, they are have let everything fall apart. We are we allow our minds and our bodies to wander. But every new every year we are blessed with a new opportunity to refocus. I personally feel that when you refocus your mind, you're actually doing self-love. You are training yourself to come back to focus and be uh, in this moment now. Okay, guys, I'm going to tell a real quick joke just to keep things running smooth, maybe like a little tiny intermission. So the this is a joke about a family of five. There's a monkey, a dad, a mom, and a couple kids. And they get in a car accident. And the only one that is conscious is the monkey. So the police can only ask the monkey the questions. And he's a pretty smart monkey. He knows sign language and everything. So they go up to the monkey and ask him, Hey, monkey, what, what were the kids doing when at the, at the time of the accident? And the monkey says, Oh, that could be a reason why the the accident happened, they said, is maybe because they were distracting the driver, they were fighting. Okay, monkey, tell me, what were the what was the mom doing? And the monkey goes, Oh, that would be a good reason why they got into such a bad accident because the mom was dis helping to distract the driver. They said, okay, monkey, what was the dad doing? And the monkey goes, wow, this probably is a DUI. And so they go back and they get together in a huddle and they start talking about it. And you know how police, how they talk about things. And then they come back to the the monkey and they go, we got one more question for you, monkey. What were you doing? And the monkey goes. Okay, so let's recap here. In number one, we kind of uh, looked back at what were the constructive criticisms that we got from last year uh, that told us like maybe what are things we need to improve, uh, what kinds of goals and we can set, 
And so one, uh, the first step was like thinking about what we're going to do. And then number two was uh, writing down, okay, this is what my goal is. And then number three, we're now at number three. What kinds of tools can help you to succeed? At this goal, but what are the tools that you can utilize to bring that goal to fruition? Are there uh, like reading materials or are there like YouTube videos? Um, is there anything um, on, say, Twitter or uh, may maybe you've made friends um, on Twitter or something like that and they know some um uh, particular things. What types of things are going to help you? And I'm not talking about people because that's the next step. What types of non-people things like um, maybe videos or um, books can you utilize to bring you and help rocket you into the right direction? So number four is support network. And I've already alluded it, alluded to it before. You have your goal written down, but you also need to finish your plan uh, on your goal by saying who it is that you're going to talk to. For instance, if I talk to my spouse, my spouse is a boring Ride share is not my thing. Maybe you can talk to your spouse, but maybe just talking to your family members is not good enough. They're not going to be able to give you the type of feedback that you need. So like I had mentioned before, maybe you can go to uh, your ride share group that you've made friends in and ask people what they think about your goal and ask them if they want to be if they support the ideas because if you have people asking you um throughout the year hey how's that going sometimes it's better when you have them asking and you can say yeah it's going good but it does suck if you forgot to keep on with it and then it's not going good remember you are either your worst own worst enemy or you're your biggest cheerleader and you can only choose to be that i so many times even myself i've done it to myself oh my god look i dropped that glass of water all over the floor and i've sat there and berated myself what a klutz i am i can't believe that i dropped that all over the floor and and i go into like saying abusive things to myself but i can change that about myself and it's only me that can choose to change those negative tapes into positive tapes and so i try to be consciously aware of when i'm berating myself and i try not to kick my own self in the butt it's already bad enough that i have that i have to sit and clean up the mess that I made all over the floor, but then to sit there and berate myself even more makes it even worse. So the net, this whole thing is about making time and self-loving ourselves and utilizing tools to go into a better positive direction. Okay, so number five, we have done all this preparation and we are ready. Number five is all about setting a date. How long is it going to take us to get this particular goal done? It, are we going to try it for 30 days and see how it goes? Or are we going to try it for the whole next year? What date are we going to start? Are we going to start in a couple weeks? Are we going to start tomorrow? What is the date? Now write that date down. Are you going to collect information from other people and then start 
give yourself maybe a month to collect information from other people about that particular subject and then start make sure you make a solid day i want all this because you are making yourself accountable and this i have done in the past i've said okay now i am going to start doing a regular meditation schedule and i need to get i need to find particular meditation material to start being able to do a me regular meditation so i am giving myself a week to find different meditating material so that i can do a better job at meditating and so if you are going to set a date um, set an alarm because a lot of times I have said, okay, now I'm going to start making sure that I remember to floss my teeth at night. And then I, lo and behold, the night would come and I'd forget to floss my teeth and, uh, or I'd forget to take a new medication. But if technology, recent technology is so wonderful that all I did is set an alarm on my phone and every night when I went to go brush my teeth, I'd have an alarm would hit, oh, at 11 o'clock at night when I go to brush my teeth, oh, that's right, make sure you floss your teeth too. And then I would do that or my skin regimen or whatever, uh, add whatever your goal is that you're talking about um, and that you're planning to do, whether it is to learn a new language or whatever. So number six, last but not least, I think is super important to talk about this. Okay, so you get going and you've been doing this for two weeks and then you miss a day. Okay, it is very important to be good to yourself. And that is number six. Be good to yourself. And if you forget, just refocus. Okay, oops, I made a mistake. And I already said it. Don't berate yourself. Pick yourself up and dust yourself off and go back at it the next day and say, okay, so I made it two weeks, let's do it again. We're going to try and be um, a better, go in a more positive direction from this moment uh, from now on. And remember, you are your own best friend. And it's already bad enough that things in life are sometimes bad things crap happens to us then if we sit there and kick ourselves in the butt that's gonna be no good so um be your own best uh cheerleader and head in a proper direction if you end up forgetting a day or something uh happens and you forget something and you don't do it setting boundaries for yourself and doing and making time to take care of you and go in a positive direction that is all self-love and that you know is a wonderful thing thank you for joining me too um thank you for uh listening to this video uh if you do set a goal please in the description below tell me what your goal is for the year i have shared some of my goals with you for for the year um and please remember don't oh overwhelm yourself try to only have one or two goals for the year so that you're not you know so many people want to quit smoking and go jogging and they want to lose weight and they want to diet and too many goals is too much. Just a couple goals is perfect. So um, please let me know in the descriptions below. And if you have any questions for me, uh, you can contact me at driverladypro at gmail.com. Um, I also put other helpful information down in the description below. Um, I am on YouTube. I'm sorry, I am on uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, and 
uh, Tumbl Tumblr, is it? Um, it, you can add me. I'm just Driver Lady Pro on everyone. So, um, uh, Facebook, I'm Driver Lady Pro Mandy Martinez. You can go ahead and add me. And if you have any questions or if you want to give me a question that I can read on the, on the, the podcast on Sunday nights at 8 p.m. Central Time, please let me know. Uh, hustle hard, but hustle smart. And if you don't hustle smart, take your broke ass home. Driver Lady Pro out. Hasta la vista, baby.